Hey there on this rainy Tuesday. It's Tuesday Truth Bomb time and I'm Rebecca Carroll and I'm wondering if it's raining where you are because it is definitely raining in Flower Mound. And the only reason I'm bringing this up to you is because it started so suddenly it distracted me and so I started talking about it. Anyway, Tuesday Truth Bomb time. I heard something the other day that has had me thinking and here's the phrase. Attention is not a neutral force. Attention is not a neutral force. It always affects the object or concept on which it is placed. And that object or concept on which your attention is placed ultimately grows bigger. So the more you feed it, the more it grows. And that reminded me of a time, and it had to have been about 10 years ago, I went up to the Kansas City area to visit my sisters, and my middle sister was in the process, uh, they had just purchased a house, and they were in the process of renovating it and adding on to it. And so she and her family of five, plus two full-grown golden retrievers, were living in this little, I think it was about a 900 square apartment two bedrooms. And so just picture it, three daughters, no fighting, no fighting whatsoever, uh, a mom and a dad and two full-sized golden retrievers. And I stayed with her a couple nights when I was in Kansas City. And we're in this teeny tiny cramped little space. And I say to my sister, because she had about probably three more months in which she was going to be living in this little apartment. And I asked her how are you able to do this? I would be going crazy. And she looked at me with this kind of puzzled expression on her face. And then she shrugged and she said, you know, I've been so focused on the new house that I haven't even really noticed how cramped it is. And isn't that an interesting thing? All of her attention was on choosing carpet and choosing paint and choosing fixtures and choosing all of these things for her permanent dwelling. Her attention was so fixated on her permanent dwelling that her temporary dwelling didn't bother her. Colossians 3 verse 2. I'm going to actually start in 3.1. Paul writes to the church, since then you have been raised with Christ, and you have, Set your hearts on things above where Christ is. In other words, don't desire the things of the world, the things that are passing away. Desire the things of Christ. Desire the presence of Christ. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. Set your minds on things above. In other words, Pay attention to what you're paying attention to because attention is not a neutral force. And whatever you give your attention to, whatever you focus on, whatever you fixate on, soon that becomes the biggest thing in your life. My sister and her family of five and their two full grown dogs actually look back on that time as exciting and fun. They were cozy. They were, you know, I mean, it was just good family time. But the entire time, my sister's thoughts, her heart, her mind was set on her more permanent dwelling. And so it should be with us. And that's your Tuesday Truth Bomb. I hope you'll join me this time next week for another one. And don't forget, you can listen to Mornings with Rebecca and Burns every weekday, 530 to 830 on 90.9 KCBI.